guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I just ordered this woodworking school kit from Stone Coat Countertops, and I think it is so cool and such a great idea. So first it comes with these two pieces of wood, and the idea is to basically make a mini river table project. So something simple to start with. It comes with one of the mica powder colors. I picked ocean blue. I'm not entirely sure if that's the one I will actually use in this project. I haven't totally decided yet. And then it comes with their new resin, which is called Project Coat. And what this is designed to do is be just like a dynamic epoxy for a bunch of, uh, for different kinds of projects, as opposed to having to have the, uh, the quick coat and then the super cast and then the, the countertop, you know, like the different kinds of epoxies. This is supposed to be kind of more of an all in one. Like I said, it's brand new. I never tried it out before. I'm really excited. So we're going to do this project. First thing we need to do is go ahead and build the frame for our river table here. So we're going to start with that. We're going to have the pieces about this far apart. Underneath here, I have some melamine, which is basically the same stuff used on like an Ikea bookshelf or whatnot. Uh, we've cut some two inch strips off of it that are going to go around. And we use melamine because apparently resin does not stick to it. So first we're going to screw our sides in and then I am going to use some tape to fill in the seams. Then we'll go ahead and get started on the resin. So we've got this all screwed together. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a hot glue gun and we're going to glue off the seams. So here we go. Let's see. And this is just for added like seam filling so the epoxy doesn't s steep out. Alright, we've got our wood pieces in. I'm just going to tape the outside here just for a little added protection. And then we're going to go ahead and mix up our epoxy. Alright, so we're mixing up the project coat. And this is equal parts A and B. And what I'm going to do is mostly clear with just a, just a hair of this ocean blue metallic. I just wanted to tint it, but I want it to be transparent. So we're going to go ahead and get that all mixed up. All right, we have all our epoxy mixed up. So here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm going to pour just a little clear in here first. Not for any particular reason, just because I feel like Ah! So we actually need to mix up just a little bit more, it looks like. Not much, but just a little bit more. So we'll be right back. All right, mixed up a little more here. So filling in the rest of this. And then there's some uh, parts here that we're going to fill in as well, some little gaps in there. Uh, 
Okay. I think we're good, yeah? Yep. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to torch this just to get all those air bubbles. Great. So we will come back when this is all dry and we'll dismantle it. And then I'm going to be planing it and I want to leave this natural wood. So that's why I didn't cover any as much of the top of with epoxy as I possibly could. And so we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. So it's all dry. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to take it apart now and see what we've got. It did come out a little bit on the side over here despite my tape. So that's a little sucky, but I think we'll still be good. Here it is. Um, you'll probably notice that I did not clear off the bark before filling it. I didn't want to. Although if you're doing an actual river table, it would be wise to do so for strength and durability. And unfortunately also the resin did seep under the inside there. So we have one side that's resined and one side that's not. And that's actually okay. I'm okay with that. I filled in all the little cracks and holes the best I could. I probably will have to go in there again with some seam filler. But what I'm going to do now at this point is I'm going to take this to Vegas with me. And I'm going to go see Bronson, the naughty artisan. And I'm going to see what he thinks I should do with this. He has a planer and all that good stuff. Oh, I also wanted to show you. I stuck these two little pieces of bark in there. Um because I was trying to make like a little island. Unfortunately, this piece kind of floated up. And yeah, so it's not really an island anymore, but it's still cool. So there you have it. So we're gonna go take this to Bronson. Guys, I'm at the Naughty Artisan Studio with Bronson and this is his planer. So we're going to plane both sides a few times. We haven't exactly decided how many times. We're gonna just start and then we'll go from there. And this is going to be awesome. This is a DeWalt, what is it, 13 inch? Yep, desktop planer. Desktop planer. Okay. Bench, bench top. Here we go. Okay, guys, here it is, all planed. We did both sides. It looks so awesome. How many times do you think we went through? Like 15? Eight? Ten, I don't know. A hundred? Okay. It's amazing okay. to Yeah. So now we're going to just uh, get this extra epoxy off the side, and then we're going to polish it. All right, what's this thing called? Sliding miter saw. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. <laughs> shape in here or whatever or we can round these corners out and put a thumb hole in it that's what I was thinking too oh, alright guys we're gonna go ahead and we're going to route the sides here we go polish it so we're starting with 80 grit and we're gonna work our way up to 4,000 and then we're gonna polish it 
Here we go. We've sanded up to 320. And now, as we get to the higher grits, we have to do what? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna raise the grain. So wood has little fibers that get cut, and when they get wet, they rise up, and then it dries off. They don't rise back down and make sure wood. Right now it's really, really smooth. We raise the grain so it makes it rough, because then we'll sand it back off again. You only have to do that a couple times, um, particularly since it's gonna be used as a charcuterie board, so if it gets washed or you know wiped down with a wet sponge, if we don't do that, it'll feel rough forever. Okay. Yeah, so we want that nice, smooth spilling. So how do we do that? So we take water. And we just missed it just like that. The cool thing is we get to see what our final product will kind of look like when we're done. Ready. And then we just give a little wipe, let it let it dry off. And if you feel here, you can feel that it's already rough compared to where it was. Yeah. That's because the grain's been popped. Okay. And then we're gonna just keep going on yep. up to four thousand. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna oil the board. We're using Odie's oil and a little Brillo kind of pad. Steel wool fucking block. Yeah. Steel wool, okay. So, we're so good. pushing it into the wood. Bronson's gonna tell me if I'm doing this thing correctly. Hey, you're doing great. Hmm? Look at it come to life. Do the resin as well. Do the resin as well, okay. Circular motion, just like that. So this is Odie's what? Wood butter. Wood butter. Odie's wood butter. 